Hello, viewers. This is Rise. Welcome back to Let's Play uh, Wild Arms 2. Well, last time we were in the middle of a summit, but something's going on here. Let's find out what it is. Uh-oh! It's Odessa! As if that was a surprise. Yeah, yeah, it's regrettable that we're about to be uh, destroyed. <laughs> I love how this guy's like, what the hell? But you have no weapons on board. Oh, yeah, yeah, we were um, expecting them to come. We were just using you as bait. Sorry for not telling you before. <laughs> Man, Irving, you're an asshole. Yep. How are we going to get on board the Varukisas? With a giant harpoon! Sure! Why not? Yeah, four people are going to storm the enemy's flying fortress. Absolutely. Silence it from within, we get the awesome, awesome music. I love this remix of the opening. Actually, you haven't heard this opening yet. This is a remix of the second disc's opening. I'll show it off when I get there. I gotta say, this is a badass amount of animation back in the day. Outside of full motion videos, this was awesome. Buffer gel? What the hell is that? Does that really exist? Alright, let's fire the giant harpoon. <laughs> it would be really funny if they missed. <laughs> Wait, isn't a giant harpoon technically a weapon? Eh, whatever. Wow, way to throw Loka out. Jeez, Brad, don't be so rough with the little girl. No, no, I'm just kidding. That's going to be taken really a wrong way, so... Yeah, I'm not going to talk about a 14-year-old girl. And how old is Brad anyway? I forget. <laughs> Older than Ashley, I know that. Of course, Brad's probably ancient by RPG standards. Yeah, yeah, is that what you called safe? Oh yeah, you're complaining, so you're clearly okay. Thanks a lot, Irving. There's no um, treasure chests in here, by the way. This is also a one-time only area, but... Yeah, no treasures. Yeah, we gotta ride this thing on return. Alright. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna make some changes to my party, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and, uh... I gave Loka the Mystic Word back, and gave her the Fangalon Medium for stealing. Um, Grudy it back to Ashley, just because. And I got rid of all their accessories that stat detection. The only status element you're gonna run into here is sleep. So, at least if I remember right. So yeah, let's go up here. Now, our objective here is to deactivate a bunch of generators. And you see there's three power plants. We have to deactivate all of them. Sorry about that. I had to cough. And yeah, you want to kick those things. And we got a save point room. I guess I'll use it. Now, because this is a one-time only area, make sure that you fight um, Odessa Man A. The only enemy here. Um, yeah. Uh, you can encounter them on Monster Island, but which I'll show up later, but you're better off just encountering them here. Uh, yeah, we have three passages, west, north, and east. I'm going to start from left and work my way right. So, west, north, and then east. Why not? 
Let's head up here first. Oops, we need to move this here. Let's go over here. I, if I remember right, you can steal something from uh, Odessa Man that might be in your best interest. Let's, uh, let's turn off the barrier switch. Let's turn on the terminal switch. Oops. Yeah, you have to do that. Otherwise, this thing here would be blocking your path. You have to turn off the barrier. I don't know if you have to turn on the terminal switch, but... No, 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 you do, you do. That's right. To lift that up. You wouldn't be able to lift that up, if I remember right. Gotta head over here. Oops. Confirm power code TA2360. Write that down. You'll need to remember that. Apparently, uh, what was that? Five letters and numbers? Not a very complicated code for shutting down the power plant of a freaking airship! I guess Odessa's very simple minded. <laughs> Okay, these are Odessa Man. Okay, I guess they're not Odessa Man A, B, or C, whatever. Maybe they're Odessa Man 1. I don't know. But yeah, just attack, attack, and pickpocket. <clears throat> I think it's a big berry you can steal from them. Yep, I was right. Definitely go ahead and stock up on those. Uh, fairly good idea. One shot, I'll take them out. But uh, because that's the only enemy here, I can edit out the remaining battles. Um, they have a, they do have an attack that I remember them using a lot. It's, um, I think it's called Tranquilizer Dart. It's not nice. It puts you to sleep, and it's virtually guaranteed to work. Actually, it's got a very high success rate. I've seen it miss a couple times, but um, the problem is that they can do it more than once. They can actually fire two of them, so they can put two of your characters to sleep. It's not a lot of fun, actually. <laughs> Okay, let's solve this puzzle. Here. I want to shut down at least one of the power plants today. Ah, crap! I hate that. I hate it with a passion. That's okay, just uh, reset the room. I remember the old tool they gave you in the original Wild Arms game. It's called a stopwatch, I think, and it just reset the room. You didn't have to leave it or anything. That was nice. Um, yeah. Yeah, if I remember right, you're going to have to... How do you do this puzzle again? Oh, yeah. I remember now. Move it like that. Move that back. Oh, crap. Uh... Okay, I guess I'll be right back. Okay, I think I got it this time. Move that like that. Like so. Yeah, you didn't need to move that first one there. It's really not a hard puzzle. I don't know why I was overcomplicating it. Yeah, you just gotta do it like that. I don't know why. I made an extra move there, too, but whatever. Way to ambush me, game! Oh, crap! Um, yeah, I don't know if I've ever had to fight alone, but this is fighting alone. You fight alone. Yeah. Yeah. Regroup! No! Retreat! Okay, game. Whatever. <laughs> oh, crap! You mean we're still pathetically weak even when we ambush one character? Way to go, game. Way to go. Okay. Operate the crane. And now, we have to input the code, which I need to check. Okay. Yeah, I have the code written down. So it's TA2360. What is that? 
three digits. Wow, such a complicated code. I really hope this thing can fly with two engines! No, no, just kidding. For some reason, you have to... It can fly with only one engine active. But whatever, let's, uh... Let's return to that center room. And next time, we'll deactivate the other ones. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, and, uh... See you next time on Let's Play Wild Arms 2. Have a great day!